In my opinion, the New York Mets won the 2021-2022 offseason. They signed the best free agent pitcher on the market, Max Scherzer. They made some huge offensive improvements, picking up Starling Marte, Mark Canna, and Eduardo Escobar. And they're going to be getting Jacob deGrom back for 2022? Dude, the Mets are in a prime position to win that division. This is going to be one of the most interesting teams to watch going into the 2022 season because the Mets made some big moves, but at the same time, it's the Mets. It feels like the Mets always find a way to mess things up. And this is coming from an Angels fan. Trust me. I know. I'm very familiar with this. But this team is loaded, man. You got Pete Alonso at first base. You got Francisco Lindor with Eduardo Escobar on the left side now. The outfield is almost completely new with Mark Canna and Starling Marte joining Brandon Nimmo. There's no more Michael Conforto. You've got the best one-two punch in baseball in a starting rotation with Jacob deGrom and Max Scherzer. They also made a move to get Chris Bassett to join Taiwan Walker and Carlos Carrasco, and their bullpen should be solid as well. <laughs> Looks like this guy is using an all Red Sox team build with Trevor Story. Speaking of which, if you're going to any Mets games or Red Sox games or baseball games in general, make sure to use code Cougs46 at SeatGeek to save $20 off your tickets. All right, man, the New York Mets in 2022. What? are we gonna see well hopefully not that yeah hopefully jacob Degrom doesn't give up a lead off home run to start the year but dude this team had an incredible offseason man getting max scherzer alone makes their team so much better but then they made crazy offensive improvements with mark canna starling Marte, eduardo escobar i think is gonna be a really nice fit for that lineup this Mets team is loaded. Now, the thing is, the NL East is also really loaded. You have the Braves, uh, you know, the World Series champions. I personally think they got a little better in the offseason. The Philadelphia Phillies lineup is electric now that they added Nicholas Castellanos, Kyle Schwarber in a lineup that already had Bryce Harper. The Miami Marlins made some really nice moves this offseason, getting Avisil Garcia, Jorge Soler, Joey Wendell, uh, Jacob Stallings. Plus, their rotation is young and hungry and ready to pitch the big league level. The Marlins are going to be fun to watch. And then you've also got the, you know, the Nationals with Juan Soto and, and Nelson Cruz. Not the best team in the East by any means, but... You know, th that lineup could be scary to pitch to. I think the Braves are obviously still the team to beat in this division, but at the end of the day, with the rosters and the moves that have been made, this division could still be up for grabs. Try to spot a heater to Babe Ruth right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good pitch. So, Mets fans, in the comments, how are you feeling about the Mets going into 2022? Do you think they're the favorite to win the division? Do you think the Braves still should be considered the favorite? Are you worried about any of the other teams in the East? Because as I said in the intro, man as an angels fan i am very familiar with teams looking good on paper and then not having it translate to wins on the field so i'm curious what you guys are thinking how you're feeling going into this season what your confidence level is at let me know yeah high and in with 102 Marte, right center wow that is not hitting nearly as hard as i thought it would be yeah, there we go. Lindor got a walk. Brandon Nimmo. This card is electric, by the way. And I pop up on an easy fastball. He, man, another pitch low in the zone that I thought I was going to hit harder. I wonder what the biggest, like, question mark for the, the Mets is going to be this year. I, I feel like at the end of the day, it's going to come down to health. Like, I don't really have any doubt that... Jacob DeGrom is going to be like fully healthy. He's going to pitch, you know, up to his, his, you know, what he's capable of. But I feel like a team this talented, the thing that could derail it the most is injuries. So I really hope that the Mets can stay healthy for a full season because I want to see this team at full strength come pennant race time, come October, because this team could absolutely make a run at a title, especially with that rotation. The fact that you pick up Chris Bassett to be your three pitcher, for a lot of the teams out there, he's probably a two pitcher. Chris Bassett is, in my opinion, one of the more underrated pitchers in baseball, and this is coming from an Angels fan that, you know, watched him pitch a lot in the AL West. He really got that hit. Chris Bassett would absolutely dominate the Angels every time. Actually, anybody who pitched on the A's would dominate the Angels. That can't drop, Nimmo. Thank you. Dude, dude, we got to hit something now. Come on. I'm getting too many easy pitches. Is that gone? Did Escobar get it? Hey, Eduardo Escobar ties the game. There we go. We're on the board now. McNeil, come on, drop. No, that's staying up for JD. Damn. Mm hmm. 
Good pitch, though. Good pitch on 3-2. Chase this. Chase this curveball in the dirt. Okay, dude. Why did that hang so much? Was that not a good release? My God, I cannot get Trevor Story out. This guy is the complete opposite of me. I went 0 for 4 with Trevor Story when I used the 2022 Red Sox. And now this guy is 2 for 2 with two bombs already. I'm also really trying to make it a goal of mine this year to go to New York and go to both a Mets game and a Yankee game. So I got to find a weekend or a week, I guess, where they're both home at some point so I can knock out both stadiums in one New York trip. Dude, New York was like the dopest place I've ever been to. Like when I went back in, I believe it was late 2019. I went there for four days. I stayed in Manhattan the whole time and I just kind of explored the city with one of my friends. That was probably like my favorite trip that I've ever been on because I've always wanted to go to New York. But I went in the winter, so I didn't get to see any baseball games. But this year, I'm going to try to go in the summer and I'm going to try to get to both a Yankees and a Mets game uh, on the same trip. So if you have any recommendations on food spots at City Field, let me know in the comments. Yes, sir. There we go. See, Jacob deGrom is dealing as long as Trevor Story is not at the plate. Marte, there we go. That's what I wanted in the first at bat. That's too easily. Oh, wow. Babe Ruth cut that off. Nice play and right. <laughs> oh, that's a hanger. Uh, it's, it's deep, but not deep enough. Damn, dude. I got to get that run across. Thank you, dude. That was like seven or eight pitches. Come on, Lindor. Nice, a little delayed reaction, but Lindor gets the job done. Woo, change up low, got him. Dude, I, I, like how many of these am I going to miss? Like you couldn't ask for a better pitch to crush for a two-time home run derby champion. <laughs> That's such a good pitch, man. Oh, what? <laughs> Did this just go through Trevor Story's legs? Or no, this is Kike. <laughs> Yo, nice play, dude. Oh, that's... Go three. That's... Oh, wait, he's catching that? That stayed up in the air for, like, ever. Ooh, we are... Extremely lucky. Please, please, Nimmo. Please, Nimmo. Dude, are you serious right now? He's going to get a triple with Nathan Evaldi? Are you dead ass? And now I got a pitch to trip. Oh my God, bro. This is about to be a four to one ball game, isn't it? Oh, oh, come on. We got Trevor Story that has to stand for something. And then I hung that. Let's go. All right. Can we please do something this inning? Dude, I oh, this splitter is killing me. Oh, I, I don't even know. Here we go. Two out knock. Come on, Lindor. Here we go. I mean, it's pretty clear what this guy is doing. He's sitting dead red fastball every single pitch. If he could lay off a couple more sliders and change ups low in the zone, he'd be up by a lot more than just one run. There's my ground ball. Love that. I, I'm just getting beat. This may be one of the worst starts I've had with Jacob deGrom and MLB 21, and it looks like it's going to be the last start of the year for him in this game, too. Oh, thank God. I thought that was going to be another perfect, perfect right to the shortstop. Like, how, how am I not hitting that? Holy hell. Why? You're you're kidding me. Dude, I'm not really raging in March, am I? Actually, you know what? Yes, I am. F this game. I swear to God, if he beats this out, I, I, I don't know what to do anymore. This is so whack, dude. What the hell is this? Do I just rage quit now, or do I just play it out? Yep. 
today. I hope you guys enjoyed the Mets video. I'm done. I can't. I'm done for the day.